I do on the side custom fencing. Build fence and take them out with the things in the back. And, and if, like I said, if you put them in, you gotta be able to take them out. The M farm all there, it, we bought it in 1980. Shortly after that, we put a driver on it. After that, we put a post puller on the back. And then the 4020, I bought that in 86. And a couple of years later, I put a driver on it, and then we put a post puller on the back of that. The M motor, I've never ever touched it since 1980. It was supposedly overhauled when I got it. The transmission has been, it was redone uh, two winters ago. The 4020's had clutches in it, and other than that, it's been good. And so the same way with the 4020, I got a, a thing on the back to pull out post, a post puller, I call it. These drivers both got tilts on them, so you don't have to crank it if you're on a side hill. The advantage of the M versus the John Deere is when you're pulling up to the wire, you don't run over the straight line wire on the fence. You're not running over, it's just right there in the wire. But the 4020 there, you run over the wire when you're you know, driving posts. So there, there's an advantage. 4020 is easier to drive, of course, than an M. However, the M's got power steering. My dad has uh, uh, 800 and some acres up there and always a lot of fencing to do. So that's why, why we did the a lot of post driver. I always wanted one without springs because springs cost money to replace and I just added weight to it to, to make it heavier so it hits harder and, and without breaking any springs. So the other one, it's got springs on it, you gotta stretch them before you use it, weighs it up and let it stretch. And then, uh, so you don't, they call it seasoning of the springs. So you let it stretch and, and then you start pounding. Otherwise it shocks the springs and breaks them. Like being outside and kind of my own boss and we all get along good and it's just kind of fun to be out and about.